Hello, I am Dr. Sonia Noor from Buffalo Endovascular and Vascular Surgical Associates and today I will walk you through the steps of carotid endarterectomy procedure. The goal of this visit video is to ensure that our patients, like yourselves, understand carotid endarterectomy as an option to prevent stroke. We hope this video and our website can help educate patients and their families on carotid endarterectomy as we partner together to treat carotid disease. The carotid arteries are a set of arteries in the neck that deliver blood and oxygen to your brain and head. As we age, fatty deposits can accumulate in the blood vessels, which can then limit the blood flow. The narrowing of blood vessels in the carotid arteries due to plaque is called carotid disease. Usually carotid disease does not have any associated symptoms. However, if the narrowing continues, it can become significant enough to limit the blood flow and oxygen to the brain and then cause a stroke. In addition, the plaque buildup in the carotid arteries can sometimes break off into smaller particles and go up into the brain and can cause temporary or permanent damage, either like a TIA as a warning sign or a completed stroke. As a patient with carotid disease, it is important to recognize the signs of a stroke, which include loss of vision, uneven smile, slurred speech, weakness in one arm or your arm and your leg, and possibly loss of balance. If you experience any of these symptoms, whether temporary, as in they completely reverse and you feel normal, or it slowly is getting worse, you should call 911 right away. Fortunately, the carotid endarterectomy procedure was developed as a treatment option to reduce the risk of stroke by surgically removing the plaque from the carotid disease and improving blood flow to the brain. The carotid endarterectomy is an inpatient procedure at Gates Vascular Institute where you will undergo the procedure and then stay overnight at Buffalo General Hospital. The procedure usually lasts two to three hours. Most patients are put to sleep and occasionally we do this with regional anesthesia and twilight sedation. Throughout the procedure, we also use neuromonitoring, which allows us to closely monitor the brain and its activity to detect any early signs of plaque breaking off and going to the brain causing a stroke. The surgery usually requires a three to four inch incision on the affected side of the artery, so on that side of the neck to expose the carotid artery. Once the artery is exposed, we put retractors in place to further move around the surrounding tissue so we can clearly see the artery. The picture shows the exposed carotid artery with a lot of important nerve fibers that run near the carotid artery. The anatomy is important to understand because the surrounding nerves are sometimes stretched during the procedure and can cause mild temporary neurological deficits like numbness around the incision, numbness around the face, occasionally tingling, and sharp shooting sensation around the incision. More rarely, it can cause disturbances in facial or speech movement, tongue deviation, but usually it is mild in severity and resolves within one to three months. Occasionally, it may take longer, up to six to 12 months. Next, we clamp the carotid artery after the patient has been given heparin, which is a blood thinner, so blood clotting does not occur. This prevents the blood from leaving the diseased area, after which we look at the artery closely and make sure that the clamping is done in such a way that it is only temporary. We then open the artery and clean out the plaque by using forceps or other instruments and make sure that there is no plaque loose within the artery. Once all the plaque has been removed, we then sew a patch on the artery so the artery does not get narrowed. Once that has been completed, we then unclamp the artery to allow blood flow back into the brain through the newly constructed carotid artery with a much wider lumen. After the procedure, you are left with an incision that is three or four inches long with usually steri strips or glue applied to the wound with dissolvable sutures. Most patients will have the dressing placed on their neck and are discharged from the hospital the next day or in a couple of days. The disease-free portion of the carotid artery helps put the patients at ease as they now have a significantly reduced risk of stroke and a 
uh, uh, long-term durable procedures. If you have any questions, please refer to your surgical instruction sheet, our website, and our staff for more information. Thank you again for choosing BEVSA and our physicians for your carotid care.